Well, hello, Marenzi. So today we're going to be looking at part two of the news media desk idea. And we're going to be looking specifically at how we might go about building it. Oops. There we go. News media desk construction. So, let's begin. So first we're going to go ahead and just draw a quick uh, drawing of what we were originally going to have it look like. So we have that. them okay so this is our original desk and the reason I want to draw this drawing first is it's going to show us how we are going to go about building the rest of it so for instance, I know that these panels are going to stick out from this main body of the desk by at least several inches. That way we can get some LED light strips, these things, and we can put them around here so that we have light shooting out around the sides and it will look cool. All right, so I can either build the whole thing as one solid unit which involve a lot of different cutting and, and things. Or I can build the main body as a single unit and then attach these sort of corner pieces to it. And I think that's the way we're going to do this. And so drawing this out sort of helped me understand what this thing is actually going to look like. So here are some hidden lines. We have a really good idea of what this is going to be. So let's do this in two parts. We're going to look over here at the main body. And we'll look over here at the sides. So let's start with the main body. Now I'm a fan of California or of a good strong corner uh, construction and that will look I'm thinking about making this out of uh, totally out of plywood, actually. So let's take a look at the corners. If I do a plywood frame corner, that is going to look something like this. So I've got four individual pieces of plywood sitting in here forming up the different, or forming up the corner. And the reason I do this is if this is a three quarter inch ply, this gives me a full inch and a half to work with. And it's super strong because these are glued together, these are glued together, everything is glued together here. And like plywood, because unlike most construction types of lumber, you know, your basic 2 by 4 and the type of thing, this is going to be dimensionally stable, so it's not going to expand and contract due to changes in the atmosphere, like moisture content. And it's not going to have weird bends and cups and things like that that I'm going to have to fight with as I build this thing. So if I cut this piece at four foot, I know it's going to be four foot and it's not going to be twisted or bowed or have any issues like that. This is just going to work perfectly. So we're probably going to go off a, with a, a plywood frame construction. And so what are we looking at here? I'm going to do corners all the way up.
Draw those in at both sides. These hidden lines here and here represent the, this sort of hidden, inform, hidden uh, edge here. If this is a, let's say this is a six foot span, I'm definitely going to want something in the center of this. So, sort of midpoint, we'll have a sort of a, just a column. So, let's go ahead and draw this here. Okay. Okay, so we've got that there. This will be a column. And then of course we need to support everything. So we'll have uh, pieces coming in like this. And like this. Ooh, I forgot that I'm going to put the emblem in here. This is why you always draw stuff up. So this design won't actually work. Let's go ahead and take a look at this again. I call this a no emblem. Flash TV. We'll call this an emblem with TV. Or emblem TV model. So, to do that, the changes won't be all that massive. Instead of doing one central column, we'll actually just do two columns. One here. And one here. And what this will allow us to do is to attach either our emblem or our TV in this sort of cavity here. So, just a quick call out, TV slash So, we have our basic frame for the front set up here. Again, we're using our weird corners, or our corners here. Uh, these are still just flat edges. Although, it occurs to me we might toss in, instead of doing something like this, we could come in and do a corner here too. And then we would have a place to mount the TV in the system. So, that would actually probably work better here. So we'll go ahead and draw that in as well. Again, dash lines are hidden lines. All right, so we've got that set up. These corners will be over here, uh, sort of set up in the opposite direction. So we've got that. These can protect the Hold on. Attention teachers and MUSC staff is down. Please, if you need to connect, you do need to use MUSC students. They are, IT is working on it. Thank you. All right, so as I was saying before, we've got our uh, corners here. These are here. One of the cool things I just thought about doing in this area, let's take a detail at this actually here is if I have a larger outside or inside it really doesn't matter section here
I'm going to double up the uh, these supports right here as well. And so if I've got them lap jointed together like this, that's actually going to be super strong. And I would be able to uh, drop screws in here and uh, hold things together, or at least nails, and hold things together really well. So I think I'm going to do this style system here. So that's going to be good. Trying to think if there's anything else I need to do to do the main body. I think we're going to make the main body one video today. So let me go ahead and just clean up some of these words a bit so people can read them. Uh, it's ply. Plywood. Ply. That's a three quarter inch mark. That says frame. This is not helping a whole lot, so I'm going to try and work on using this bigger pen for letters in general. So yeah, I think we got it. Anyway, my name is Mr. Hilpert. Uh, I do hope you have enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe over here. Watch other videos in this general area. And of course, leave comments and uh, suggestions below of other things I should be drawing. Uh, thank you and have a great day, guys.